I need a haircut. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. The game that needs no intro because chances are your parents were the ones who showed you how to bunny hop or quickscope. The game came out in 2012 and 8 years later it is still one of the most popular competitive tactical shooters out there. The game objectively still looks decent, but the question is, can you stream it? And can you stream it competitively? Before we head on to the results, I just want to say thank you to all of you who liked, commented, and subscribed on the last two videos. As a matter of fact, just a tiny fraction of you are subscribed, so if you want to support me on this endeavor, just hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost a thing. Just saying. Also, if you would like to join me live, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So yeah, twitch.tv slash jellyquintv. Okay, let's go. So our PC is still the Crappinator, so the i5-2400, 8GB of DDR3 RAM, and GT1030. The settings we'll be using are as follows. Our default is the X264 encoder because the GT1030 doesn't support NVENC, however if you do have an NVENC compatible graphics card it is always better to use NVENC. The main option we'll be playing around with is the CPU usage preset. So our options are as follows. 720p30 with the super fast CPU usage preset. 720p30 with the very fast CPU usage preset. And just to test stuff out, 720p48 frames per second with the super fast usage preset. Once again, big fat disclaimer, if you're not yet affiliated or just got affiliated, I wholeheartedly recommend you stream at 720p. The reason for that is that not everyone has high speed internet. And, um, you know, you want people who don't have great internet to still watch your streams. The reason why I mentioned that is that only partners are guaranteed to have transcoding. So if you're not partnered, stick to 720p. So what did we do to the game settings? First, I always recommend to cap your FPS. The reason why we cap our FPS is that we don't want the game to use needless resources when we can use those resources to actually stream. The way we do it in CSGO is we set the launch options in Steam to plus FPS underscore max 60. I myself cap my FPS to 60 because I do have a 60 Hz monitor. However, if you have a 90, 120 or 144 Hz monitor, cap it to those. If you're experiencing issues and are losing frames, just set it to a lower cap. Everything in game is set to low. I don't know what you were expecting, but yeah. We don't need to spend too much time on 720p 30 super fast because as is tradition, we lost zero frames. The test was an absolute success. As you can see in the um, end result screen, we lost zero frames and the game ran smoothly at 60 FPS without any glitches, hitches or stutters whatsoever. Absolute success. 720p 30 very fast, however, was quite a surprise to me. The age and optimization of CSGO actually shows its best here. Because once again, we didn't lose any frames and uh, we experienced no stutters whatsoever in the game. So, wow. 720p 30 very fast. Absolute success. Zero frames lost. Now, the third option that we tested out is 720p 48 at super fast. The reason why I test is that usually streamers tend to say that 48 frames per second is a pretty nice balance between 30 and 60 FPS. Now we did lose 3 frames out of 33,537, resulting in a 0.009% frame loss. If you can live with a 0.009% frame loss, then by all means stream at 720p 48. Personally, I'd stick with 720p 30 very fast. However, if your overlays do hog a lot of your CPU, then I wholeheartedly recommend you switch it to super fast. And that's about it. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate you subbing to the channel because it, you know, keeps me going with these videos. If you liked the video, you know what to do. If you didn't, that other button seems to work too. And um, yeah, if you have any other ideas or suggestions, leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen.